It's a five-game Friday night in the K, and we're bringing you the hottest action. Let's check it out. My name is Andrea Sachinka, and you're watching Delhi KHL Update. We take it to Russia's Far East first. Our more welcome Sochi at Platinum Marina. Some scary stuff first. Artem Nikolaev drives Ivan Nikolishin hard into the boards, and the latter is slow to get up. Two minute minor is assessed, but don't worry, Nikolishin did return to action after that. The Leopards break the ice early in the second. Nikita Nachitsky shoots from the hash marks and celebrates his third goal of the season. There's no scoring after that for a long time, and then Vasily Glodov seals the deal with the empty netter. Magnus Helberg stops 39 shots for his fifth shutout of the year, and Sochi take it 2-0 on the road. There's another game of Russia's Far East tonight, and it takes place in Vladivostok. Armour play host to Optima the list. This one has a pretty obvious first star. Alexei Makayev opens up the score in just over eight minutes in with a snipe from open ice. After a Belize double, they're only less than a minute into the second. Makayev enjoys his second of the night while Ryan Spooner and Shane Prince get the helpers. The Viruses extend their lead to 3 0 a little after that. Patrice Cormier makes the Sailors pay for this bad giveaway at the breakout. Armour swap of Anna Lima for Nikita Serebrikov after that and tried to shake things up a bit with a fight. Mark Verber drops up with Alexei Vasilevsky. Gotta do something when he's down through his hip. The host get a goal back before the intermission. Nick Sindrich scores on a power play and that's his first goal for Armour since joining the team from Dynamo Riga. Alexei Makayev completes his second career KHL hat trick late in the third. Sergei Shmakov with a marvelous setup. And just to add insult to injury, Stanislav Bacharov scores a shorty on the empty net in the last minute of regulation. Makayev collects three goals and after Abilis get a W on the road. 5-1 is your final. We go to Novosibirsk for a rivalry game. Sibir face off against Reading Gagarin Cup champs Avangard. This one is pretty wild. The Hawks get on the board less than three minutes in. Arseny Gritsuk scores his 10th goal of the season. Avangard extends their lead with a power play goal a few minutes later. Oliver Kuski finds the back of the net. But the snowflakes get back even before the period expires. 2011 World Junior champ Dennis Golubin finishes off the great passing play. And less than two minutes later, Nick Shore makes it a 2-2 hockey game. Trevor Murphy has apples on both of his markers. Sibir scored their third in a row just out of eight minutes into the following period. Alexei Krochina makes himself available on the hash marks and hammers it by Shimon Grubet. Avangard even it up late in the frame. Batatsiglarik puts the skill on display, takes the shot and buries his own rebound. Trevor Murphy puts Sibir back in the lead mid to the third. That's the third point of the night and that's his new personal high. The Viruses bring it back to even again with less than five minutes remaining on the clock. Damir Shurubzana finds the rebound in the slot and lights up another four on the scoreboard. But it's going to be a heartbreak for the champs. With just 20 seconds remaining to play in the period, Nikita Korotkov sends it home for the win. The season series between the two is now tied at one as Sibir take it 5-4 on home ice. We'll move on to Yaroslavl now, where Lokomotiv do battle with one of the top teams of the East, Tractor Ride right Town. There's not much scoring in this one, though. The host get off the board with a short-headed marker just out of seven minutes into the game. Georgi Ivanov with the tally. Second period now, Igor Kashkov takes matters into his own hands, sets up Pavel Kraskovsky at the far post. He shoots, and Roman will bail Tractor out. Loko get another one past the check nap matter a little later, but it's waved off after video review. Goal interference is the call. Tractor level at really late in regulation. Vitaly Kravtsov scores his fifth of the year with the extra attacker out. He goes to overtime and here comes the winner. Nick Balin sends it past Eddie Pasquale and Tractor gained the extra point. 2-1 is your final in Yaroslav tonight.
We travel to Helsinki, Finland now for our final game of the night. Top team of the West, Gutkrieg, meet Red Army. The red and blue open scoring on a power play just under 8 minutes in. Sergey Plotnikov with the goal, Anton Slepashev and Mikhail Grigorenko with the assist. The Jesters get back even early in the second. Bela Matisavinan and slings it home from the hash marks. Savinan has crossed his second of the night and fifth of the year shortly after that. Nikos Jensen draws another helper on the play and it's 2-1 Jokirid. The hosts have a great chance to improve their lead later in the period as Brian O'Neill makes a great cross-ice pass but Nikos Jensen whips up the one-timer. Red Army tied up just a few minutes into the following period. Sergei Andronov finds his target to make it a 2-2 hockey game. Late in the third now, Brian O'Neill pulls off a fantastic move and takes two shots, but Ivan Fedotov says no. It has to go the extra mile. Mikhail Grigorenko feeds Anton Slepashev and former Oilers pick finishes the job. Red Army bounces back after getting shot out by Sarastal as they take it 3-2 in overtime. And that's it for your daily KHL update, but do come back tomorrow for two more games. Boris will face Vitas while Torpedo will challenge Severstal. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.